Hi, I'm Ron Cantor, and I'm standing in what is one of the best kept secrets, not for long, in Jerusalem. You see, up until 150 years ago, people thought that the ancient city of Jerusalem was in what's called the Iratika, the old city. But there was a fellow by the name of Charles Warren, an explorer. What he did is he went to the Ottoman rulers and he asked for permission to excavate the Temple Mount. They said no. So he remembered that there were some old tunnel shafts, he'd certainly written in the Bible, in the ancient city of Jerusalem. So he came down here and he found some of these tunnels and he was able to conclusively prove that this right here where I'm standing is the ancient city of Jerusalem, Ir David, the city of David. So the question we have to ask ourselves is why would David move his capital from Hebron to this place, which was a Jebusite stronghold at the time. He was probably very happy in Hebron. It was Judah where he was from, and it was very normal for kings of that time to rule from their tribal base. For instance, if you were uh, the mayor of New York and suddenly you became president, you would still stay in New York, not move to Washington. But what David did is he wanted to unite the tribes of Israel. It is he moved his capital city from Hebron to this area, which at the time was an impenetrable, took me a long time to learn how to say that word, fortress. You couldn't get in. It had walled cities everywhere. And yet he chose this area, a very difficult area to take. Why? Number one, location. It's literally right next to the place, right up there where Abraham tried to sacrifice Isaac. And he knew that that would be the place where God would have his son, Solomon, build the temple. Secondly, there's water here. We're sitting on top of the Gihon Springs where you had a endless supply of water. The third reason, he knew that if he could take this city that was impenetrable, he would have an impenetrable capital city. And so we know from the Bible that the Jebusites did not take King David very seriously at all. It actually says in 2 Samuel chapter 5, the king and his men marched to Jerusalem to attack the Jebusites who lived there. The Jebusites said to David in a mocking tone, you will not get in here. Even the blind and the lame can ward you off. They thought David can never get in here. Nevertheless, David captured the fortress of Zion, Zion, the city of David. And from here, he was able to do something that even King Saul was not able to do and hadn't been done for 300 years. He united the tribes of Israel into one nation. And the area that they ruled went all the way up to what is now Turkey and all the way over to Arabia. It was a massive kingdom. It was in this city that he would build his palace. And then just up the road from here, his son Solomon would build the first temple. And no longer will Sion, Ir David, the city of David, be kept a secret. In fact, through the excavations, we can see the city of David arising again, just like the holy prophets of Israel said she would. Shalom from the city of David.